Hi, I'm Spencer Jones with What's What on the Water, the Catch or Release Review. Today, we're taking a closer look at the Guideline sunglasses. I have um, them on my face currently right now. They're called, this, this is a surface design. They have plastic grips on the nose, so it stays firmly there. Um, cool stuff on the front, reflective. The, but more importantly, they're 100% UVA and B rated, so it protects your eyes. It's not a sunny day up here in Wisconsin today, but still, for me, my sensitive eyes, sunglasses are a must. These glasses are stylish and comfortable to wear, but will they work well on the water? That's what we're gonna find out today. All right, let's see what we can do. I put these sunglasses, the guideline sunglasses, to the test for you. I've had them out driving for multiple hours. I've had them out on the water for multiple hours. Both sets of sunglasses cut the glare immediately. Their polarization is great. The cars coming towards me were no issue. The sun bouncing off water, though we don't have much sun today. It was a little sunny earlier. But uh, even before, in past times, past days I fished, the sun bouncing off the water, no worries whatsoever. I've tried out two different sets of their glasses, the Kingfisher series and then the Surface series. Now, the Surface series, um, these sunglasses, I like to have um, gray lenses. They work great on the road. They work pretty well on the water. The one issue with them on the water is that it, it didn't let me see into the water as well because of the gray lenses. Now, the Kingfisher series have amber colored lenses, which are perfect for the water's eye fish. I was able to see straight down, see the detail, and I was even able to stand up and fish and sight fish seeing uh, you know, 10, 20 feet away from me and still being able to see the detail. These sunglasses, both pairs stayed on my face. I put them to the test for you. I ran multiple four mile routes with them, even shook my head vigorously. Here, I'll even show you. We got the Surface Series. Put them on, shake your hand. They're not going anywhere. They pulled up a little bit off my face, put it back on, set to go. Same with the uh, Kingfisher series, both extremely comfortable. After wearing these sunglasses for hours, um, driving and on the water, I had no pain in my temple area where they hit, no pain on the bridge of my nose. Now, one little complaint I have about both these sunglasses, and it's just their style, is that you can still see the light around the frames, on top, on the sides, and the bottom. So if that's one of your pet peeves, don't, um, you know, this not, might not be the thing for you, but they have other styles that might fit your need. Now, these sunglasses are upper range, uh, upper lower range to middle range price. So um, you can get the five dollar pair, or you can spend as much as two hundred plus. These fall, um, both of these sunglasses are about sixty dollars a pair. They're one hundred percent UVA, UVB rated, polarized, comfortable, and stylish. I am. A big fan of these sunglasses. They have changed um, my sight fishing drastically and my comfort on the water uh, as far as sunglasses go. So in my book, are these sunglasses well made? In my opinion, are they catch or release? You might have already figured it out. In my opinion, the Guideline Eye Gear is a definite catch. <laughs>